Hey, this is Miracle Max. Welcome to Rise of Civilizations. Today, by request, we're going to start a Let's Play series. I have a lot of players who've asked for help with early gameplay. And since our kingdom has now captured the Lost Temple and, and is at peace, I thought I would start a new one and walk through it with you. Now, I have a video out on picking a starting civilization. I'll put a link in the description. One of the requests I've had is how to build Boudicca. It seems a lot of players have picked Boudicca as their starting commander. So I'm going to go ahead and pick her and do a walkthrough with her, and that should help a lot of you out. Again, if you're unsure what civilization to pick, please check out my video on picking a starting civilization. All right, we're going with Britain and Boudicca. Here we go. I'm going to skip the intro video because you can watch it on your own. The game has a great tutorial to start you out. I have volume turned off and I will speed through some of this. The parts that I think are important, I will point out to you and tell you to go back and look at. I'll also create um, side videos that give you a summary of what we've done and what was most important in each day. So if this video ends up being a little longer, you can look for um, on this one particular, day one goals will be the side video that I do. All right, she welcomes us. She's here to help us. All right. This icon is how we add things to our village. We're going to start with a farm so we can feed our people. At the beginning of the game, things build very quickly. Um, I can't do anything but what she tells me to at this point, so we'll just kind of speed through it. Somebody needs our help. Barbarians are going to be a part of the game the whole way through. So that button in the bottom left-hand corner gets us out to the map. All right, this mean barbarian is going to attack this little village. We don't have any troops, so there's nothing we can do to help them at this point, except watch it happen. Heading back into the city. So now we need troops. All right, this is our first barrack. This actually trains infantry, so let's get some infantry training. We'll have those in just a second. 20 little guys. Okay, it says next we must upgrade the wall to reinforce our city's defenses. The wall is important, it is what uh, will keep our resources safe for the whole game. And as we get into the game, we'll walk through what's important about the wall. These little upgrades are cute at the beginning. All right, this is telling us we need a tavern to recruit leaders. And she is correct. This is probably the most important building during the game. All right, this button right here on the tavern is how we're going to open chests. And these chests are our access to commanders. So because we picked Boudicca, she's going to be the first person who shows up in our little video here. And there she is. We're going to confirm Boudicca. Now we have a starting commander going back out onto the map. All right, Boudicca wants to go take down those barbarians that picked on the little people. Here we go. We're going to search for those barbarians. We're starting with a level one barbarian, and this bar at the bottom is how we search for everything. So if you're wanting to go out and gather resources, this bar at the bottom is the way to go. Here we go. Here's the little barbarian dude. To attack, click on it, hit attack, and select your army. Now, we only have one commander at this point, our Boudicca, so let's get her out there, and we will march her out. Now obviously because the game is controlling this part we're going to win. Um, but as we go on we'll have to be more careful about what level of barbarians we pick and the game will give us some clues as to how to handle that. Alright we won our first victory and it looks like we have another commander fighting nearby. This is the markswoman. And she is being attacked by the barbarians, but needs our help to survive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and attack this barbarian. And it'll be a two against one. 
and you'll see his health bar, the white bar by his side, which now turned yellow and quickly red, go down, and we will have a victory in just a moment. And again, this part's the tutorial. He's mad at us, so be it. And I do have my volume completely turned off, so when you do this, you'll be able to hear them. All right, Mark's woman has joined our army. She's a pretty low-level commander that we won't use much past the first couple of days, but always glad to have her. We'll head back in the city. Okay, she's saying to follow the quest. So in this sidebar, there's two levels of quests. Um, one level is our main and side quests, and the second one is our daily objectives. So we can't change tabs yet, but we'll go ahead and do what she's asking us to, which is upgrade our city hall. For those of you coming from a Clash of Clans background, this would be um, equivalent to our town hall. It unlocks new items at every level. Again, we're on the two-second upgrade, so things are going to happen fast. Since we upgraded our city hall, we now have some items to claim. Um, one thing about ri Rise of Civilizations that I really like is there is a huge amount of rewards coming in all of the time. So you always have items to claim, and we'll show you that. All right, some villagers have decided to join us to confront threats together. All right, scouts. This is our introduction to scouts in the game, and I will go back and explain that whenever we get out of this tutorial. Military. They want us to build a scout camp. I am not organizing my village at any in any way at this point. I'm just dropping things down. All right, here we go. We've been asked to scout and explore the map. So. And again, not giving us a choice, but we're just going to send this little guy out. Um, we're on a kingdom map, and most of the map is covered in fog for us right now. We can't see what's happening. And the only way to uncover the fog in the beginning sections of the game is to send scouts out. And depending on their level and the level of your scout camp, they will uncover fog at different rates. Right now, we only have one scout, and that also changes in the game as we move through it. So a piece of advice to you is to have your scouts out moving around the map at all times. Uh, I'll show you the scout building when we get back to camp and you'll and show you how to know when to send them back out again. All right, we're just going to click this and go home. All right, back to our quests. I'm going to claim all these little things. So again, I was saying this is the quest. You have a main quest and side quest. The second tab is your daily objectives. You want to make sure that every single day you can complete these. Uh, the reason for that is the chests at the top um, contain even extra items that you receive once you get a certain amount of points from the bottom section. And they get progressively stronger. The third chest, which is 60 points, has a silver key in it, which is really important to us. And the fifth chest has a golden key and gems, which is uh, the highest level of currency in the game. And so we want both of those. And all we have to do is do daily skills to get these. So important things to do. All right, we'll claim these three that we've completed and get out of there. OK, it looks like the tutorial's over. So I'm going to go through everything that's on the screen um, that is of importance for day one. And we're going to start with the scout camp. If you see on the scout camp, when the scout isn't out, the word explore appears over it. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to send this scout out. The game will automatically pick the nearest fog block to where you are currently located. So uh, let it choose. It, no sense scrolling out and trying to find one that you think is better because it is doing the algorithm and taking care of that business. Uh, in the bottom left-hand corner, the little castle building is always our return to home button. So when you're out, um, zoomed out, it's the easiest way to get back home. All right, so while our scout is outgoing, we're going to go back into our barracks here. And we don't have any troops training in it. So we have two choices at the, this point. We can either upgrade it 
or you can train more troops. So for this moment, we'll train more troops to make our, our army larger. Five minutes to train those. All right, and so while that's going, um, the game is also telling us we have the ability to build. And this is our uh, builder hut. Um, if you click on your builder hut, we start with one builder and there are ways to unlock a second and that's pretty important. So we'll let her talk to it. At the beginning of the game, you have where it says hire, you're given four two-day contract second builders. So we want to get things going fast, so we're going to hire a second builder at this point and be able to build two things at once. All right, going to the hammer. We have a lumber mill to build. Um, almost every game has buildings that are resources, so we want to make sure that we get those built. All right, the second item we have to build is an archery range. So now we have two troop, tri troop types. Uh, we have archers and we have infantry. So let's get that built so we can get some archers training also. At the beginning of the game, troops are troops. It really doesn't matter which kind you have. You just want to have a lot of them. All right, anything else for us to build? Decorations are pretty, but not important at this time in the game. And we're gonna just keep collecting stuff as it appears. <laughs> we have two builders free, so let's get them going. Now, in a lot of games, it's important to upgrade um, everything on the map before you go up to the next level. In this game, that's not true. Uh, you really are pushing on your city hall to get it done, but there are a few other buildings that are super important in this game. And I will do a video on that, on the important buildings, but for today, um, we're just going to start and do these in order. It looks like our tavern has the word recruit above it. If you use that magnifier next to it, this tells us we have one silver chest for free right now and one gold, so let's open those. In the silver chest, uh, we have some resources, 10,000 wood, 10,000 food, a tome of knowledge, and this is an item we use to upgrade our commanders. And last, we have sculptures uh, for Tomoe Gosen. And for each commander in the game, the way to unlock them is to collect the required number of trophies. So right now, this tells us we have one of her trophy. We need 10 to unlock her. So we're going to confirm that. And we're going to go to the gold chest. Now, silver and gold, we know gold has more value. So we're hoping for greater things out of this one. So let's see what we get. All right. We got a 50,000 food token. You noticed in the silver, we got a 10,000. We received a Julius Caesar sculpture, and we've received five of those. Julius Caesar is the absolute strongest commander in this game. So getting those five out of ten on my first gold chest is amazing. All right, we also have two more packages of Tomes of Knowledge level three. Level three is 1,000, and then a single level three tome. Really good opening on that one. We're going to close out of this. The tavern um, has an info button next to it. And this little eye that I'm clicking on right there shows us how many free chests we get every day based on the level of this tavern. So gold chest right now at level one, it takes three days to get one. And each day we get three free silver. So upgrading the tavern is important. We want more chests. We want to get to a higher level of them as quickly as possible. And the only way to do that is, is to upgrade. Now, if we look at this list, the next level where we get more silver chest is five. And this number is going to come up quite a bit here on day one. So I just want you to remember our goal in the tavern at this point is level five. All right, and we're going to go ahead and start that upgrade. All right, we have armies training. The next building I want to talk about is our scout camp. I'm going to hit the info button again on that. And again, next to the text at the top where it says scout march speed, exploration range, number of scouts, and power. Right now we have one scout. If we hit the info button, 
again, we have a chart that shows us when we get additional scouts. And level five is when we get our second scout. So again, level five. All right, we'll go ahead and start the upgrade on that. Again, very important to get these things unlocked in the game. The word explore is it above it again. So we're going to go ahead and send that scout out again. Keep those scouts going. Uh, in a few minutes, I'll be able to show you why, but for now, we're just going to keep them moving. All right, troop train training. Looks like our barracks finished. Now, let's look at uh, the information on the barracks. Um, on the barracks, this tells us by level how many troops can train at a time. So every time I go in and I hit the button of train this, um, I get a certain amount of troops. I don't want to be on hitting the button all the time, so getting the level up early is pretty important. Right now I'm level one, we get 20 troops at a time. Let's get that to level two and get to 50 troops. Here we go, upgrade, 20 whole seconds. We're going to do the same with the archery camp as soon as that comes open. And our scout camp is telling us to explore, so we're going to keep sending that scout out. Back we go, our archery camp finished troops. Like I said just a minute ago, we want to get those upgrading so we get more troops at a time. And now we can train more infantry in the barrack. If you see now on the slider, I now have the option to train up to 50 at a time. So let's get those training. Still have builders available. Awesome. All right, the next building that we're going to upgrade is called the hospital. And when we go into battle with our troops, um, we're going to have some troops that get injured. So we want our hospitals upgraded so we can heal them. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this now. This building is super important, and I'll go into it in more detail. Um, for right now, we're just trying to keep things moving and get things upgraded on day one. Going to keep training archers. And I'm just going to keep upgrading things. Now, something important to know is your city hall level de determines how far you can upgrade things. So in a moment, we'll switch over and upgrade that. Okay, our tavern now has the word recruit above it. So let's go see if we can pick up another commander. We have one more silver chest open for us. And remember, we have three silver chests available to us for free today. So we'll go ahead and hit open and get that one going. No new commanders, but we did pick up some wood. We picked up a speed up and we picked up a starlight sculpture. Um, explaining what a starlight sculpture is for will come in a separate video. You'll hear this a lot. And that will be my early commander vis video explaining how you upgrade commanders. And I apologize, I'm taking some notes. I just want to make sure everything I promise you, I go ahead and do. All right, it says explore again on the scout camp. This gets old at the beginning, but I promise you it has great value. And since our um, build builder says that we have builders available, I'm going to go ahead and start the city hall and let's get this upgraded, five minute upgrade. And she says this upgrade takes five minutes, but we have speed ups we can use to make it faster. We'll go ahead and do it on this one since she's telling us we have to. Um, a five minute speed up, we have 14 of them, so using one's not a big deal. Good job, speed up allows things to happen faster. Okay, all right, if we go over to our hammer, it looks like we have some new buildings. We have a new farm. We'll just plop it down anywhere. Go back in, we have an alliance center. Pop that down and we'll talk about that too soon. We have a whole bunch of decorations, which I do not care about at this point in the game. All right, we have builders free, so I'll do the tavern, because I want those free chests. I'm going to get that upgraded. And we'll go ahead and do the scout camp. Again, we're trying to get to level five on the scout camp, and that will take City Hall five, so we're pushing in that direction as quickly as we can. There's a lot of new stuff on, on day one. Oh, there's the word explore again over the scout camp. Let's send our little guy out running again. And we're back. All right, so 
my goals for today on my first day of this Let's Play series. Um, I actually have 10 goals to do, and I will uh, cover that in a second, but really my main goal is to start the upgrade to City Hall 5. Um, I've shown you both with the Scout Camp and with the uh, Tavern that getting to City Hall 5 helps you a lot. So we're going to try and get there today. I don't want to stay in line the hour it's going to take to get there. So I want to cover a few things around the map. All right, we already covered on the sidebar our quests and our daily objectives. Again, read through these. The great thing about daily objectives is they teach you what you need to do, really, every day when you're online. Um, the first thing you need to do is train troops. We have infantry and archers, so we want to train those. We'll unlock cavalry and siege units and train those. Defeat barbarians on the map? Well, we did that once, but we'll go out and do it with our leader, Boudicca. Gather food, gather wood, recruit infantry, recruit archers, recruit cavalry. So you see, it's all about troops and resources at this point. More barbarians to defeat, using our hospital, helping your allies, upgrading technology, opening chests. So again, these are going to be our every single day items that we do over and over again. I have builders free. Let's go ahead and upgrade our hospital because we want our troops to live. Looks like we have another builder free. All right, we'll go ahead and upgrade our Alliance Center. And let me talk to you about the Alliance Center. We're going to go ahead and join an Alliance today. Now, um, in early gameplay, we don't, <laughs> we're not tough stuff. There are not people out there looking for our under 5,000 power. And this number in gray in the upper corner um, tells us about ourselves. Our power is 4,930. In the kingdom, um, right now, if we look at power, individual power, the highest power in this kingdom right now is 803,000. So we are really just unranked. And people aren't looking for us. So what we need to do is find any alliance that uh, will let us in and let us join their party. So to join an alliance, in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, you have the bullets with the three lines. We're going to click on that and click on alliance. All right, she's going to explain to you why we need an alliance. I'm going to go ahead and hit join. And I'm looking for any alliance. Um, if you look under the alliance names, there's two choices. Application needed and anyone can join. I'm looking for an anyone can join. So I don't have to um, apply and show off my lack of power. Let's look at this one. A second alliance in here. So they must have two alliances within the kingdom. Today our goal is nothing but to get in any alliance that will take us. So I'm going to hit join. And we're now part of an alliance. All right, and you can read through this now. I'm going to give you a little, uh, a little cheat and let you know that this kingdom we're in and this alliance we're in, we're only going to stand for nine days. And there's a big reason behind that. And it has to do with... Uh, with getting ahead in this game. So we are going to, for now, just just hang out, be glad um, for the game, um, and take the help we can get. All right, so the lady is telling us we should use a teleport, a beginner's teleport, to move near our other Alliance members, and we are not going to do that. In fact, if there's one thing to do today, don't <laughs> use the beginner's teleport. All right, if we look at the map, our alliance, it looks like, is at the very top of the map in the center. Um, and we are the green dot. If you look in the upper right hand corner, it does tell us where we are. All right, so we're right over here, and we're going to stay right here. We like where we are, and we're not going to use a beginner's teleport to move to them. Okay, so back to the alliance. I'm sorry. So much to cover, so much to cover. All right, if we look at the information on the alliance, um, whenever 
we start to build something or we start to train a technology um, which will become available to us soon in the game, um, we can ask our Alliance members to help speed up that build time. And the amount of times that someone, some the amount of times you can get help from your Alliance in total is determined by the level of your Alliance Center. Right now it says we can be helped six times. Again, little info button and we can look and we, as you can see at every City Hall level that goes up. The higher you get that up, um, the quicker you'll be able to upgrade things in your city. You do not need to teleport near your Alliance to get this help. Um, it's a magical thing. You say help me, they help you. So as you can see, it goes up quickly. Now, what does that number mean? The times you can be helped. It is a percent or a minute minimum. So right now we can be helped six times. That means at a minimum, six people can take one minute each off of our build time. At a maximum, they can take 6% off our build time. So for any build that's 100 minutes or less, it will take six minutes off. Anything above that, it will take 6%. All right, again, I'm going to try and keep our builders going every time I'm going to just click on the city hall and it will tell me if there's something I need to do before I can upgrade the city hall. All right, our city is developing rapidly. We're about to enter a brand new age and that would be the bronze age. Right now, the city hall is telling me you cannot upgrade until you do your wall. So we're going to go to the wall, tell that to upgrade and it says a minute 30. So now when I click the uh, build button, a little hand shows above it and that is the way you ask people to help you. So I clicked on it and my time just disappeared because people came and helped me. All right, so now if I go back to the city hall, tell it to upgrade, it's gonna let me. The time on it is 20 minutes and let's see how fast that goes with helpers. Remember, they can take off six minutes for us. So we're gonna ask for help and we're gonna see the helps pop up on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, one more six all right if you're wondering if you've been helped the maximum number of times that you can be helped um, in the uh, list in the bottom right hand corner of the screen the button is alliance if we click on that and then click the hand shaking which says help this is where you can a help others and b see if you've been helped so if we look that's us at the top we need to create a name and it says we've been helped six out of six times awesome Let's help this guy, Black OPS Boss, and there we go. At any moment, you can help others in your alliance by going to your alliance building and just clicking that icon when it appears above it. And we're going to just keep helping people. Everybody's in the same boat right now. They're building everything they can as fast as they can. All right, while our town hall, sorry, city hall upgrades, we're going to go see if we can pick up new commanders. And we have another free chest. Thank you very much. Confirm. All right, and we are in the process of going to City Hall 4. I really wanted to take you all the way to City Hall 5 today, but this video is rolling long. So I'm going to cut it off here, and then I will return and start a Let's Play video number two um, when we get to City Hall 4. Um, a couple things I want to remind you of in on this video. Continue to help your Alliance. Every time hands pop up over this building here, click on it. That helps everybody. Number two, your scout camp. Every time you see the word explore above it, hit the telescope and send your scouts out hunting. Uncover that fog as quickly as you can. All right, and number three, let's keep our army troops training. The bigger army that we have, um, the better we're going to do in battle. So right now, again, we have two types of army units, archers and infantry, and let's just keep those going. And it looks like I have one builder free. So let's go ahead and upgrade. We'll upgrade this Alliance Center right here so we can get more help. 1 minute 30 seconds, but when I ask for help, it'll just be done in a heartbeat. There we go. All right. 
that is going to be it for this first Let's Play video. Um, it is a little hard to go through all this at once with you, so I apologize if it seemed disjointed. I will um, come back almost right away with a goals for day one video and explain the 10 things that are most important to get done on day one. I appreciate you watching this. If you like the video, please select like. Um, I would love to see you added as a subscriber. And um, so please subscribe, like the video. If you have questions or comments, please uh, type them in and I will reply. Uh, you can see on the screen, I have a Twitter account and a, a Discord account. So if you'd like to join me, please feel free to use either of those met methods also. All right, this is Miracle Max signing out from our brand new account. I will name it in just a second, and I will see you back here for my next video. Have a great day.